you're watching the Dennis Tillotson channel and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to run an EPD it's an EPD demo what you see me doing is opening up a EPD file EPD maintenance one EPD and I open that up and then um, I'm going to show you well first off I'm going to cover what uh, what an EPD file is so let's do that what I want to do really quick is show you what a um, an EPD file is it's uh, it's a file for um, storing chest positions uh, basically like a snapshot of a game and so it's it's called an extended position description and the, I have the specification file of, of it open right here right now and I'm just gonna scroll down to some important um, parts of it which um, you'll understand uh, when you see them right here the you'll see this in the file this is a, it's just a text file and you'll see these lines in here uh, that look like this uh, this is actually the starting position and and basically it starts from the top of the board which uh, you're looking at the 64 squares top is black bottom is white and so you go across and you enter the pieces in in lowercase for black and uppercase for white and uh, programs can do this uh, automatically they can create these files you see them in uh, on websites where tournaments are running they'll have these uh, so you can copy the position using this format and then paste it into your um, your GUI viewer um, most programs will handle this these um, strings and and so you can see uh, this is the starting position with the the numbers are the number of spaces and so when you get into a more complicated position um, uh, you know you get numbers all over the place so um, and then um, you have the side to move which is added on after a space um, then you have castling availability with kings and queens um, capitals for whites and lower cases for blacks and I'm passing a target square which is on this one it's a dash but it could be like um, something uh, some square um, that you could capture on if a pawn advances two squares and also um, I think you also have a digit for the 50 moves how many how many moves into the 50 move rule you are um, and so and, and then also then after that section you'll have uh, some op codes usually a BM for best move and then a move um, BM op code and then a move and so there could be there could be more than one best move also so um, that's that's uh, there's there's more op codes comments and so on that are in this file which I will um, I will have a link for and uh, that goes along with my video description there'll be a link for th this file you can get it because so, I'll be sharing that so uh, that's that's a that's the um, EPD file okay um, this is an example of an actual um, EPD file and this one's called mate in one and um, there's there's um, 67 positions in this file and so each one of these positions is a different um, chessboard position each one of these lines I should say and 
so the bus move for this position is this first position is ng1 check and um, the score is the CE it stands for the score and that's a plus mate and one that's what the score is uh, and then the ID for the um, position is called mate and one zero zero one and so the, it goes on and on like that and there's a lot of these uh, files available uh, for useful for different purposes but mostly for testing chess engines and that's one reason why I'm showing this uh, this tutorial uh, rather than just uh, running matches you can actually um, process these kind of files these EPD files as um, uh, en for engine testing purposes and so um, an interesting thing is um, Arena will allow you to load these files and process through them and that's what I'm going to show you next. Okay now I'm uh, shifting over to the demo portion of, of the demo and what I'm doing is I'm showing you uh, how if, if you had an engine loaded you could do an analysis of the position but also you can bring up this automatic analysis dialog through the engines menu you can add uh, engines in which I've already added to and then you can set your search time and I've already loaded the EPDs what you want to set up is your output files you already have a couple in there and whether or not you want it to append or overwrite, whether you want whether you want your report file, and if you want um, parameters reported as well, search parameters. So then um, the EPD, EPD positions that are loaded, you can run those, and you can run all the positions in the file, or you can run a subset of them by, by setting the from two, or you can add a list of in the list box in the in the box below or right in the right in the middle of the dialog add files EPD files and so you can do multiple files from a list which is kind of cool uh, as long as as long as it doesn't run into any issues with the files uh, bad format or whatever it can blast through you can have an engine blast through a whole list of EPD files and so what I have set up here right now is I have basically it's it's going to be Stockfish versus Lilo and it's going to be um, there's 67 positions in the file I'm going to um, just run off the first few then skip to the end um, you can see down at the bottom um, there's engine where it says engine one analyzing in the in near the near the bottom uh, row of buttons, just above the bottom row of buttons, you can see uh, where it says analyzing, and then uh, it'll 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 tell you how many um, you solved of, of the total number of matching moves, right? So right now, like, um, Stockfish has 404, and it's set for 20 seconds, so it's, um, that's a very generous amount of time, especially for mate and one, but this is just a demo, but you, there's, there's uh, a large number of EPD files that you can get if you search around online, thousands of test positions, and one thing cool is you can all, all use them you could use them yourself to train yourself even uh, just hide the uh, the best move and just try to solve the positions yourself so there's multiple uses but I'm right now on this demo I'm just showing you how to test a, a chess engine 
And so you can see Stockfish got 64 of 64. I skipped to the end um, just to speed this process up. Because 20 seconds is a long time. And so um, we're gonna, we, you can see that um, Stockfish um, is not uh, missing any of these. It's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's crunching out these um, positions, um, finding the, the mate in one, which is probably the number one thing that a chess engine has to do. The goal in searching a chess position is to find mate. That's the number one goal. Anything that doesn't find mate in a position, then it gives you a score. That's that's um, that's the philosophy behind uh, a chess engine. It searches for mate. If it doesn't find a mate, it gives you a score of a quiescent position, basically. Quiet position, positional score, based on how far it's been able to search. And so, now we have Leela loaded up. And Leela's uh, uh, beginning its analysis and right now it has one of one matching moves and so this is just a demonstration of what you can do with this automatic analysis uh, that's useful for uh, testing and debugging engines and some people pr publish their EPD results for various files to, to demonstrate how strong their engine is. And now you can see Leela missed uh, position number two, which is kind of surprising because any um, beginner level engine, I would say, most beginner level engines. Oh, I wouldn't say beginner level, maybe, you know, expert or master level engines. They would be able to solve all of these mates. Um, they should be able to. But Leela, and I would, I would guesstimate right now, Leela's in the top three engines in the world. This is mate in ones, which is basically embarrassing so I don't know um, why it does that and so um, maybe it's because um, there's a problem communicating with arena or something I'm not really sure it doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense You can see it's already missed two out of six. And so, and 20 seconds search time is very, very generous. But you don't see any PV being produced. So maybe, um, maybe it's not communicating with, with um, Arena or something, you know. Um, so, not sure what to make of it. Oh yeah, so one thing we can do is we can um, open up a debug window in Arena. This is a nice feature Arena for debugging engines. Uh, and that it, it actually you can actually um, not only can you see the communication between Arena and the engine, you can um, log the information to an Arena debug file. Um, just by checking the box, which is checked right now. So you can see the um, UCI communications going out, going back and forth um, in real time while, while we're um, while we're watching the uh, search the test 
So that's another cool thing you can do. And as you can see, Leela definitely is um, sending data to Arena. Uh, so this one here, the PVE at the very end of the string is C5D3, which matches up with the solution. So I've skipped ahead to position 64, the uh, after 64, and Leela's only gotten 44 um, maiden ones, now 45 out of 65. Um, so um, that's, that's huge, I mean that's a huge um, problem, I would say. Um, the thing about it is, is that it's it's very easy to detect mate. You basically just generate all the moves in the position, and then you make each move uh, generate all the replies for your, for, from your opponent, and then you check to see if those replies are legal. In other words, the opponent is not in check, and so he has what legal moves. He's not and he's not made it. If he if he doesn't have any legal moves and he's not in check, he's still made it. But if he has no legal moves and he's in check, that's checkmate. And so um, it's pretty easy to detect that if you think about it. It's very it's extremely easy to detect that. And and for uh, for Lilo to detect that would be trivial. It would be. Especially mate in one. Now, once you get up to the higher mates, then you got to check at each node. Basically, you have to check. Um, so that requires more processing. But just to do the mate in one is trivial. It doesn't require any neural net technology at all to detect mate either. So I just wanted to do this demo, show you what's. Uh, the possibilities are for testing engines with EPD and if you want to develop your own engine this is uh, something cool that you can do or if you're just start uh, starting out and you you're just taking an interest in uh, programming chess and also it comes in handy for pairing two engines as like a benchmark I just throw that out there and hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel and bye for now